is sometimes how actors see the um, casting process. <laughs> they can, they, they, you know, actors are very vulnerable because they're the ones in front of camera, they're the ones on stage, they're the ones who are naked. So you have to be very careful with them and make them feel comfortable. Did anybody see that film last night, The Audition? No, it was, um, there weren't many people in the theater, but it was about a th an actor who went to an audition and it turned, and it was like this, he was on stage like I am, and then there was, the director was in the audience and the director was deaf. <laughs> and he was um, auditioning for his life. <laughs> and it was, I liked it a lot anyway, but it's, um, that's the way actors see it sometimes. So you have to really, in the casting, you have to really make them feel comfortable so that they can give you their best performance. How am I doing on time, okay. And, um, and on set too. You have to really, really set them at ease. If you're having problems with an actor, it's almost always because they feel insecure. So you have to make them feel secure and taken care of. It's a good idea for directors to really uh, put the actors through a trial where they're um, responding to, see if you can work with them, in other words, because sometimes an actor comes in and they're pretty good, but they're not doing it quite the way you want them to. And you ask them, you say, okay, um, you know, you give them some notes, some direction, then they do it the same way again. Right, so what does that tell you? It tells you that whatever they're doing, they're not gonna be able to change. So you have to like what they're doing now, or that's it, you know, because there are, some actors are better at responding to notes than other. And, and I would suggest that you find an actor who can really take your direction, and that that's important. If you can't pay the actors, at least feed them. You know, <laughs> try to keep them happy on set and try to, uh, to the best that you can, keep them warm and dry and all of that stuff. Because you're just gonna get a better performance out of them. Um, I know, see I also work at the Prague Film School and I know that sometimes we have problems there with, um, they'll get to a location and they haven't figured out where people are gonna go to the toilet, for example. Um, Things like that can really make it difficult. Like, so when you go and you find your location, make sure there's a toilet, make sure there's a place you know, where the actors, where people can be dry or whatever. Um, and if you don't have a toilet and you don't have a place where people can be dry, then you have to tell the actors, look, there's no toilet there, bring some toilet paper. Or um, you know, there's, there's no shelter there, so bring a blanket, bring an umbrella, or, or bring an umbrella and a blanket yourself. But these things can really make or break the film. If you want to work in film, then you have to get some practice in front of the camera because that's very important. I don't feel comfortable casting actors for major roles in, or even minor roles in a film unless they've been in front of camera a little bit because it's not something you just get up and do. It's not natural. I mean, there are some people who are naturals at it, but it's not, there's nothing natural about being in front of camera. <laughs> so you have to practice it. And you have to learn what works. So if you can, take an on-camera course. Um, volunteer to be in some student films so you can get to know the medium. So that's one thing that is, that is important. So once you've gotten your um, training and you've had a little bit of experience in front of camera, it's really important to get a reel, you know, some clips together. And make sure they're online because casting happens internationally now. And it happens on the internet like everything else in the world. Make sure it's clear that you speak English if you want to work outside of the country. Um, let me hear your English. So have at least one scene on your showreel in English. Or if you don't have an opportunity to create that, then at least have yourself speaking English on the reel. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is, I am uh, from Portugal. I've been working in blah, blah, blah. Tell me a little bit about yourself in English so I can hear what you sound like. So I believe that you can speak English, or I, I hear what your English sounds like. I think it's important to be yourself. And nine times out of 10 in film, that's what we're casting. There are actors like Daniel Day-Lewis who are just all over the place, or Dustin Hoffman, and they play all different roles, but most actors play themselves, actually, and there's nothing wrong with that. 